Just in time for Cyber Monday, the Westport Downtown Merchants Association is introducing a new virtual gift card that works at all of your favorite downtown businesses. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe has more from the Toy Post on Post Road. On one of the biggest e-commerce days of the year, Westport businesses have a way that you can shop online while still keeping it local. It's a virtual credit card basically with a, with a set amount. Downtown Merchants Association President Randy Herbertson says downtown dollars can be spent at any participating business downtown, over 40 stores and restaurants and counting. Everything from, you know, uh, a meal at Dunn Memo to buying a gift at Savannah B. Being grace. He says pandemic concerns have pulled shopping local into the 21st century. I think it's become more accessible than ever before. I mean, the merchants are really bending over backwards to find new ways to uh, shop with, with customers. We did a lot of delivery and a lot of curbside, so we were actually taking a lot of orders for the phone. Employees at the Toy Post say helping shoppers has gotten more complicated in this virtual world. We usually text people and we can take pictures of things and describe them to them. It's our job to make sure that they're satisfied and make sure that they get what they want. But Herbert says that personal touch is why supporting local business is so important. Things you can't get on an Amazon or a Walmart to, to talk to a person to advise you and help you, as well as, of course, the experience of what you got to see when you were able to come to the store. Employees say West Porters are getting the message. A lot of people are coming in here and they're looking to, to spend money locally and it's really helpful for local stores when people are keeping us in mind. You can get your downtown dollars at the Westport Downtown Merchants Association website. We have a link up at news12.com. For now in Westport, Sean McCabe, News 12 Connecticut. And that Westport Downtown Merchants Association website also has a list of participating businesses. And you can go there and find that link on news12.com.